Okay, I've just got this beautiful set of uh, countersink bits um, off of Amazon. I uh, wanted to do a video review of them. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting one of these uh, these deck and fence screws into this block just as a test. Uh, so uh, I've got all my bits ready. These are nice uh, pieces that I can just put into my drill and, and go ahead and uh, switch out the parts really fast. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a pilot hole. Just put it in the wood right here. Nice and quick. There we go. We got a nice pilot hole there. Switch that drill bit out really fast with a with a countersink bit. Now the purpose of a countersink bit is that you don't really want to split the wood. So whenever you uh, put a drill uh, into this and make the pilot hole, if you were to put the screw into there right now, what you'd do is you'd split the wood along the grain and uh, you're going to damage your wood. So you really don't want to do that. So what you want to do is you want to put a countersink piece in. You just want to sander it in your pilot hole and drill down. Okay, so you've got a nice little hole there which the top of the screw is going to sit in. So next what I'm going to do is just quickly attach my screw to the, uh, or my Phillips screw head to my drill. Always set your drill to, uh, whenever you're drilling a hole to the drill setting, always adjust it for the screws. So that whenever you put a screw in, you're not going to... Uh, and end up threading the hole. So start slowly, bring it down, and beautiful, nice and flat with the surface. Uh, you haven't damaged your wood in any way. Uh, these bits are excellent. Uh, can't recommend them enough.